something going on, like in the drawing in on ninth and C. At the same time we're doing this, they are celebrating the life of Bimbo Rivas at ninth and C, but we can't be in two places at once. For those of you who don't know, Bimbo, or did not Bimbo, because he passed away, that's where we got the name Louis Sider from. And that's who helped make Pleasant Park possibly tomorrow a place where, where, where people could gather and do poetry and music and really brought the Louis Sider culture together. So, this is called Wave of New York Poets, and it's kind of about that. But anyway, here I am. Here I am. In 7 or 6 p.m. standing outside the Poetry Project. And it's a mild October evening, crisp enough for a leather jacket over a Keith Richards t-shirt. And we're celebrating, we're celebrating Eileen Miles. And I remember taking her book home from the Neva Nora bookstore on 6th Street and Avenue B, entranced by her handsome tomlinness her white shirt rolled to the elbows, her jeans so ripped and faded you could feel the softness. And she had a slight hint of a mullet in a remote sort of way, arms crossed yet still approachable, and on the back cover in that same shirt, lighting a cigarette, Budweiser and pack of Marlboros on the desk, brick walls and a typewriter and, and probably a police lock. And I don't remember if I ever paid for the book. Probably not. After all, it was 1981 and I never paid for anything. And it strikes me that few of the chattering girls online around me were even alive in 1981. And I don't remember much about 1981, but I remember a typewriter on my kitchen table, and I remember Bimbo Rivas and Pedro Pietri shouting poems in the street. Or maybe I don't remember. Maybe I don't remember if I was really there or thought I must have been there because I must have been somewhere, because isn't everyone, isn't everyone always somewhere? And here I am. And here I am at 7.18 p.m. And the line stretches around two corners. And I'm pretty sure that I am where I stand. And that I'm not somebody else I used to know. And the girls chatter. And the boys shuffle their feet. And all the girls are pretty. And aren't all young girls pretty? And was I pretty? Or was I somebody else even then? And I can't see him anymore, but I'm pretty sure Pedro's long black coat touched the ground when he stooped down to catch that last can of beer as it rolled from a brown paper bag. And I remember the poet's young sisters laughing as they recalled Bimbo's voice so loud in the park it shook the trees. And maybe it was a night I wasn't there, but I was somewhere. And I can still see the banshee in Tonkin Swept Park where the homeless slept and when my daughter learned to climb stairs. But it's not there anymore. It's not there anymore, and neither is Pimbo or Pimbo or Pedro or the poet with the laughing sisters. And somehow I am, and somehow without reason or a hat, I am, I am still here, and here I am. And it's 727 outside the St. Mark's Church. And in minutes, the doors will open. And several hours from now, the doors will close, and I'll leave, and I'll leave by myself, remembering who I am, and walk down 2nd Avenue, across 7th Street, past the park, past two, no three, no four places that I used to live. Past the invisible bashful and the silent voices of grown children, and here I am, and here I am. 
p.m. and it's 7.30 p.m. and the line moves and we start to advance and just a little bit and just a little bit and just a little bit we move forward and here we are and here I am.